Joining us with the latest this morning is Omar Sachadina. And uh, Omar, Toronto police paying a lot of attention to a Facebook post that Alec Manassian allegedly made before uh, going on this deadly van attack. And I just want to show it to our viewers in case they haven't seen it already. It references the incel rebellion. What more do we know about this group that he's referring to? So we know, Anne-Marie, that this is a, a group, an online group, uh, by men who feel <coughs> victimized. Uh, and the term itself is uh, a hybrid of involuntarily celibate. And as you mentioned, there was a post linked to an account by the suspect in this van attack, Alec Manassian. Uh, we don't know exactly if uh, that suspect wrote the post himself, but we knew, do know based on what Facebook is saying that the account was subsequently taken down. Now, this is, of course, part of the investigation officials briefing the media yesterday. Uh, they're calling it a cryptic post that will be part of an investigation which they are saying uh, is massive, and you can imagine exactly why. This is a huge crime scene. 16 blocks and about two kilometers long so they have lots to comb through and even difficult Anne marie is uh, identifying the victims which they say could take uh, days before they are able to officially release all of those names yeah the coroner yesterday sympathizing with people saying we understand that they want to know and that it is frustrating for families but they want to be certain as they go through their uh, process so 10 people killed in that incident 15 injured in the attack but we have learned some more about some of the victims what can you tell us we have, and it's so important to remember these victims, and certainly there's a memorial behind me, and uh, you, you read and see these uh, signs and messages that people have left, and it's all about the victims, how we can't forget about them. We know in one case, uh, Anne-Marie Demico, uh, she was working at an investment management firm uh, here in Toronto. We also know in another case, there is a chef at a Toronto steakhouse, a grandmother as well, 80 years old, two South Korean nationals and a Jordanian man as well. But again, you know, the profile of each of these individuals, uh, as, as we mentioned, will take uh, days to come out. We do know the age range, though, Anne-Marie. We know that this is uh, a, a catastrophe, a horrific tragedy that claimed the lives of people between the ages uh, of in their mid-20s to their 80s. This is what the official said in that news conference yesterday. But as bad as it was, as horrific as it was, uh, officials are saying that were not for the actions of that hero cop uh, that basically de-escalated the situation, things could have been a lot worse. We'll be speaking uh, with a former police officer about that video, about that uh, officer who had that incredible standoff and then that led to an arrest of the suspect. Omar Sachadina, live from the Memorial in North Toronto. Thanks so much. You're welcome.